Welcome to FCPS All-Stars. We have with us today Ning Chu, language arts teacher from West Frederick Middle School. Welcome. Thank you. I understand that you come from a very dedicated family. Tell me about both of your grandfathers. Uh, both of my grandfathers were generals in the uh, Chinese military. Um, my grandfather on my mother's side actually um, fought alongside of Mao Zedong. He was part of the Long March wow. as part of the what, Red Army. Interesting. And I understand that your family is very, very full of pride. And what is your saying that you have about that, about expectations? I believe that not one challenge should define you as a person, but instead it should be about how you overcome those challenges that truly define you as a person. That's really hard for people to do because often we, we do so much good and we make one mistake and we think we've blown it. How do you parlay that to the students in your classroom? Um, for me, I know I've made many mistakes as a student. Uh, first of all, I came here from China as a, um, as a sixth grader without knowing any English. So as part of my education here, I had to learn English um, basically by failing. So I always tell my students, to make a mistake is okay, but you always have to try. Now you mentioned that you came from China, so tell me about this experience. Up through fifth grade, you were in China, and then in sixth grade, suddenly you find yourself in the United States. Uh, my father actually first came over here. Um, he was a professor in China, um, and he decided to move to America and to go to college here in America. After he was here for a year, he decided to move us over. So um, after a while, we decided to stay here so I can get an American education. Now, what did you find most helpful in, in helping you learn English? Uh, surprisingly, I, I found TV to be the most helpful. Um, cartoons, um, things like um, Ninja Turtles, um, Transformers, um, those shows really kind of got me speaking English more. And obviously, with the help of my teachers, um, they were very dedicated. Um, they always pushed me to, to learn how to speak English, how to read and write English. And it was really um, their help that pushed me over the edge to, to become a better English speaker. Now today we're always telling our kids to get unplugged, get unplugged, get unplugged. But how did the TV show specifically help you learn how to speak English better? Um, I remember turning on the, the caption on TV oh, and just okay. trying to mimic the way that um, the people were speaking on TV, um, how they pronounced certain words, and obviously with the words written on the bottom, I was able to see what those words were. And did you figure out what cowabunga meant? <laughs> Uh, it took me a little bit, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is a pressing question that I've personally had. When you dream, do you dream in Chinese or do you dream in English? Uh, that's a really good question. Not many people actually have asked me that question, but um, I distinctly remember um, it was around my seventh grade year, so about a year after I moved here, um, when I had my first dream in English solely. And I remember waking up um, in elation because I realized that English was truly ingrained in me. Mm, um, okay. Subconsciously I was speaking English. So it was a great moment for me. That's amazing. Thank you. When you come here from another country, you have to have a lot of challenges. And I know that many sixth and seventh graders have a hard time fitting in and finding friends. What was that like for you when you came with the language barrier, the culture barrier, and moving to a new place? Um, it was very tough. Um, but I was lucky enough, I had uh, several friends that were truly great friends that um, was willing to put their hand out and extend their hand, extend um, a welcoming hand to me. Um, one particular friend, Jim Ernest, I remember my second day in school, he basically gestured to me video games at my house. And when you're that age, that's all you need to know. And um, in fact, he just got married a few years ago and I was the, the best man at his wedding. So. Um, we're still very close today. So you have a lifelong friend now. Indeed. Okay. All right, well, Ning, thank you so much for joining us at FCPS All-Stars today. And thank you as well. Don't forget, join us next week and shine on.